everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you several simple techniques that rule using our new ruler stamp from the Polyclear So Stylish set. Here's the set. It's from the 2010 Summer Arts and Crafts Catalog. And then here's a card that we're going to be making. I just love this set. There's so many possibilities that you can do with it. Okay, so the first technique I wanted to share with you uses that ruler from the set. And this technique can be used for any border stamp. So first I want to show you the wrong way. And that is you don't want to just put these border stamps right on the block like that. The way you want to do it is to take the stamp and just drop it right on your work surface and then it will relax and be all straight and smooth. And then you can go ahead and take your block and stick it right to the stamp. Once you have the stamp on the block like that, it's really easy to line up the ruler and stamp several right next to each other, one after the other. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and finish stamping the rest of the card. Okay, so the next technique uses post-it notes to get the different colors on the rulers. And this is really easy to do. You just want to take the post-it note and mask off the area that you want to be a certain color. So first I'm going to mask off the ruler on the right so that we can make it tumble glass. That's the pretty blue distress ink. And I'm going to be using this foam applicator tool, but you can use a sponge like a makeup sponge instead if you don't have one of those. The foam applicator tool by Ranger works really well though because then you don't get your fingers quite as inky. They still get pretty inky though. Okay, so you just want to take the foam applicator tool and get lots of ink on it and then go ahead and just rub it right on the masked off area. So this will make it a nice blue. And I like to make some areas darker and some areas lighter to kind of give it a distressed look. So then you can remove the post-it notes and see that just that part is blue. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat the same technique for the other two rulers. Here, for the sake of time, I went ahead and masked off the middle ruler. And we're going to make it this pretty paint color. It's called sponge sugar. And we're just going to do it the same way, just rubbing the ink on that middle ruler that's masked off. And I'm going to do the same thing where I leave some darker and some lighter. And then this foam applicator happens to have barn door ink on one side. And that's kind of a red color. So I went ahead and put some of that on the areas that I wanted to be darker. Okay, so check out this one. That's looking pretty good. Then we're going to do the same thing again on the last ruler with scattered straw. And I went ahead and speeded this up since it's just the same technique and I wanted to save time. But there you have it. Next I'm going to show you another technique that also uses post-it notes. And that's how to make this interior frame that goes around the edges of the card and next to the ruler. This technique is also great to use around a whole note card, not just for making a frame like I'm showing today. So we're just going to add post-it notes to cover up the edges where the rulers are, and that'll make this framed area that then we can go ahead and play with. So for this, I'm going to be using various shades of the brown distress inks. And I went ahead and grabbed a bunch. I think I got the tea dye and the walnut stain. And even the scattered straw would work good for this again. And what you're going to want to do is just start off with a light shade of brown and go lightly around the edges. 
and I'm going to make this bigger than what I did on that fin finished card so that you can see it really well. Um, one thing about the foam applicator tool is that you can really control where the ink is going and it's really nice for doing this. So there's the lightest shade. Now I'm going to go back over everything again with a little bit darker shade. This is the tea dye Distress Ink and I'm just going to go along all the edges with that. That's looking pretty good. Then for the last step before removing the mask, I'm going to take the darkest brown, which is the walnut stain, and go right along the edge, right where the post-it note is. And now let's peel that back and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. Then for the final step, I'm going to take the walnut stain and go around all of the card edges to bring it all together and really make the card make it pop on the card front. And I thought I'd mention that you don't have to use brown for this. You can use other colors too. And then I thought I'd go ahead and put a few distress marks with the brown on the ruler too. All right, there it is. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and color everything. I'm using a combination of colored pencils and markers here. And I was running out of time to fit everything into the video, so I thought I would go ahead and include this, but put it on fast speed so that that way you could still ever see everything, but it would fit in the video. So I hope you like watching all of this in fast forward. Um, here I put a few details in with colored pencils and then I added eyeshadow to her eyes and here's a little shadow just around her legs to give definition. Okay, so the last step is to go ahead and stamp another border to go around the edge of the pink note card. Get ready for a peek at one of my new favorite stamp sets. This is the Polyclear So Artsy that's also in the 2010 summer catalog. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before to make sure that this border stays straight where I just drop it on the work table and then put the clear block on top of it. And I thought I'd put this in fast forward too, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do. And the only thing that's left to do is to add pearl accents to the card. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. I sure had a ton of fun making it. Thanks for watching.